All right, so let's look at this question on the reflection of light waves. The question says a ray of light is incident at an angle of 30 degrees to a mirror surface. Determine the angle between the incident and the reflected ray. Okay, all right, so how do we solve this question? Okay, so this question here is on the reflection of light waves, which we've treated in our previous class. Okay. I'll leave a link to our previous class on the reflection of light waves in the video description. Okay, so check the video description for the link to see the full class on light waves where I discuss everything. Now let's solve this question here. How do we solve this? First things first. Um, when it comes to reflection of light waves, there are two laws that govern this concept. All right, there are two laws of reflection. The first law is that the incident ray, the reflected ray, and the normal at the point of incidence all lie on the same plane that's the first law why the second law says that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection okay and we'll be using that law to solve this question okay so the second law the second law of reflection says that the angle that the angle of incidence this is usually i okay it's equal to the angle of reflection and this is usually r all right so this is the second law of re reflection that i is equal to r okay so we have this Now, if this is true, um, we'll pick up that diagram here. So in a diagram, we have this, uh, we have the plane here. So what you have here is called the plane mirror. We have this one here, this, we also have this. All right, from what we have, we have this angle here as 30 degrees. So this is this direction here. Let me draw this better. Um, this is this direction here this direction here and this direction here now for this one here what you have here is called the incidence ray so what i have here is the incident ray what you have here this one here is called the reflected ray okay the angle you have here this angle here is called i all right i here which is 30 degrees as given here is called the angle of incidence right while the angle here this one here it's called r which is the angle of reflection as we said all right so with that said if you look at the second law here which we said angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection it is clear that from the law there that this angle here this one here will still be equal to 30 degrees because r since i is equal to r then r must be equal to what there 30 degrees so the same thing there so i have this but in the question what will we asked to find we are asked to determine the angle between the incident and the reflected ray now we're not asked to find the angle of reflection take note in this question we ask to find the angle between the incident ray and the reflected ray which if you look at this this is the incident ray this one here let me mark this here this is the reflected ray this one here so if you ask to find the angle between the incident ray and the reflected ray, it's simply the angle here, this angle here, between these two lines. That's this. All right. Um, I can bring it down to here, this way, and let's call this x. Let's call the angle between them as x. Okay. All right. If this is true, um, at this point here, we'll bring a bit of mathematics to this. Okay. Um, a bit of geometry to this. All right. So how we solve this is to always remember there's something called the sum of angles remember that the sum of angles on a straight line sum of angles on a straight line is equal to 180 degrees all right this is a mathematical concept that the sum of angles on the straight line is equal to 180 degrees the straight line we're considering is now this line here all right this line here so what angles do we have on this line on this line here we have three angles there the first one is i which is this which is the angle of incidence taken as 30 degrees 
The second angle is this one here, which you have as x. And then the third angle is this one here, which you have as what there? The angle of what? Reflection. So we have that I, angle of incidence, plus x, which is the angle between the incidence ray and the reflected ray. And then plus R, which is the angle of reflection, is equal to 180 degrees. Let's bring in values. From what we have that we said I is equal to what there? 30 degrees as given in the question. Plus X, the unknown angle, plus R is equal to also 30 degrees because some of uh, because the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. And this will be equal to 180 degrees. Let's work on this. From here, if I sum 30 plus 30, that gives you 60. So I have 60 degrees plus x it's equal to 180 degrees from here we have to get the value of x i'll have to move 60 over here so i'll have that x over here i'll have that x is equal to 180 degrees um 60 comes crosses over becomes negative 60 okay so negative 60 degrees from here we'll have that x it's equal to 180 degrees minus 60 degrees gives you 120 degrees so i have this so therefore, therefore, the angle, the angle between the incident ray and the reflected ray which we called x is equal to 120 degrees. So basically, this is how we solve this question, okay? All right, guys, um, as I said, I'll leave a link to the full class on this topic, okay? I've done a full class on this topic. Um, I'll leave a link to that full class in the video description, okay? All right, guys, so um, I've prepared over 100 videos for YEC and JAM students, okay? where I explain the major concepts in physics, chemistry, and mathematics, all right? To access those over 100 courses, visit my website, www.jonahimani.com forward slash courses, courses, and you see the jam slash YEC courses, okay? All right, you see the jam slash YEC classes, all right? So what you have to do is just register an account to the website and then you can proceed to get the course. All right. You can also check the book section for any of the available books or you can simply join my channel membership. All right. So check, you see um, the jam slash YX channel membership. All right. You can join it to get exclusive videos for jam and YX students. All right. All right. Then um, if you enjoyed this video as usual, please do well to hit the like button. All right. So like this video, leave a comment. If you have any question, leave it in the comment section. All right. Um, if it's your first time or you yet to subscribe, please do well to hit to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever we upload a new content. And finally, share this video to your friends so that they can also learn. Thank you and see you in our next class.